Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Outback Zoo, here in Zoo Tycoon, the ultimate collection, where we have recently received fantastic news, my friends. We have finally reached level 20, and that means we have been entrusted with the ability, oh, here in the Australian Outback, to take care of Platypus! That is right, one of these special animals that is actually locked to only being able to be found in the Australian Zoo is finally available to us, the Platypus. If we want to have the Platypus in any of our other zoos, we have to raise them to level 15 in this zoo and then put them up into the animal reserve. And then from that wildlife reserve, we can put Platypus throughout the world to our other zoos, which just sounds like so much fun. Oh my gosh. So we are going to be working on a special platypus river today. We're not even going to be pulling any plunges. We're here for the platypus, like the beautiful jaguars that we have over here, the giraffes we have over here. These are all wonderful. The gorgeous tropical jungle that we're working on, absolutely fantastic. But at the end of the day, we are really here for what we are going to call platypus river. So we are going to make a river stretching along the back and it is going to be covered in mini exhibits that have tons and tons of platypi in them. This is going to be one of the most unique challenges we have ever tried to accomplish in the Ultimate Zoo before, but I know that it will definitely help us out when it comes to spreading the wonders of the Australian outback into the rest of the world. Not that platypi are actually found in the Australian outback, just to clarify. They're actually located in much more uh, temperate and tropical regions, but we'll just run with it. Also, let's go ahead and start researching the large lake. This is what a medium lake would look like. And I think it's a little small for our plans, our platypus plans, you might say. So we're actually going to hold on to that, uh, but we need to put down the mini exhibits for the arid pool, which will have the platypus in it. Oh, there's so many cool things. And there's a ton of really cool owls that we could actually end up with. Like, I'm very excited about this. Oh, and the lemurs and the iguana and the agouti. Oh, we have so many cool things to add in. This is going to be fantastic. And we are also probably going to start building more of these large outback exhibits kind of to go up along the river and we're going to put different types of kangaroo in them since we are also trying to get a whole bunch of kangaroo uh, up to level 15 so that we can spread them through all of the different worlds of our zoos as well. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more research really quickly. Um, I think we're going to go, let's go ahead and do some more advertising research because we really want to start getting more people here because more people means more money and more money means more ways to be able to help our animals out. And I'm going to put in, we have different types of kangaroos, um, grasslands, kangaroos kind of like that. What else could I put in with the kangaroos if we were going to add anything like a random hippo? That would be extremely random, but it might keep things a little interesting for ourselves and our guests if we can kind of mix and match what animals we have in there. Hmm. What do you guys think? If you saw a kangaroo running along with something, what would you want it to be? Like, that's a good question. Normally they move in their own groups. How big are kangaroo groups? Herds? What's the collective noun for a kangaroo? I've never had to think about these things before. Tell me, you guys! I'd love to hear from you. All right, so we're actually going to increase 50% more guests by hiring a media expert. There we go. Who knows? Maybe that's one of you. And then let's see how big the large lake is. That is more like it! Yes! Look, it is even shaped kind of what I was hoping. So let's actually put the large lake right here. <gasps> we have unlocked the Indian elephant! The yellow-tailed cockatoo. How exciting is that? Uh, and then we will connect it temporarily. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Over here, just so that people don't fuss at us about it. Uh, and then we're gonna actually add a couple more large lakes because we're gonna make this a whole river. I've never, like, probably not all at once because I don't think we have the money for it, but I've never done something like this. But I just love the idea that we'll like have this river 
And then in between and up along it, we'll have little pools, little ponds. We'll put crocodiles. Hang in there. We'll put crocodiles and we'll put uh, platypus mostly. All right. Because this is basically going to be like our breeding facility for platypi. Um, I'm put this one right next to it. Right there. All right, we've got this huge chain right there. And then let's put a couple mini exhibits down. So the arid rock, which is going to have Tasmanian devils, sand monitors, armadillos, desert snakes. Ooh, that sounds so cool. But we actually want the platypus in the arid pool. Oh gosh, it's such a tiny little pool. Do you guys see how small that is? My gosh. In fact, can we connect that one right there? Can I break the connections on this so that we can put three down, maybe? Or maybe I want to put a big rock maybe in between. I think that sounds cool. So let's actually reconnect this. Like, I want, I want, ah, okay. Ah, my least favorite thing to do, picking and putting back up, picking up and putting back down the lakes. All right, connect it to that. And then we're gonna go ahead and make this one have a connection here. There we go. And then let's actually put down a gigantic rock. Jeez, people have already made it over here. That's amazing. So I'm on a big old rock, kind of in the middle, to kind of look like a cliff sort of arrived in the center. And we'll put down some trees. There we go. And a little tree over here. We'll have to decorate all over the place with trees. It'll be a good day. A good day where we help to restore some of the carbon into the ozone, perhaps. If you're not as into- I mean, come on, look at the leaves! They're fascinating! If you're not as into trees as I am, it's just because you don't know enough about trees. Trust me. We'll get you there. All right. And I kind of want to put just like rocks and cliff sides up along the whole back part of the zoo here. Because I think it would look really cool. There we go. We'll work on that as time goes on. And then let's put down another platypus spot. And we will start with the very first the two very first platypi ponds. <gasps> they are going to be platypi ponds! Oh, Sookie, the Easter gray kangaroo has been born! Did we fail the challenge? We failed the challenge where people... Wait, no, no, no! We got a surprise animal at the reserve! Yes! I wonder what it is! We'll have to see. Okay, platypi first, and then we'll, we'll try to remember to check on the supply surprise animal. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and customize... The trees? Can we make them desert trees? Because this is scrub area. I mean, I guess we can. I'm not really sure if that's... Eh. Uh, we'll worry about those kinds of details later. Let's just get the name. Alright. So I think we're going to call all of these plat pie uh, plat plat tie pie plus Platypus. That's platypus right there. Platypus. Platypi Pond. Alright, and we're going to rename all of them Platypi Pond. There we go. Because that's what they're going to be. I kind of like to imagine uh, Platypi. Platypi? I think so. <laughs> uh, I like to imagine that these spots are basically like little wild areas. Totally not. Now that I look at it, it's got freaking benches around it. I'm doing the best I can with the tools at hand, okay? But let's go ahead and get these little platypus in here. So we want animal, adopt new animal. <gasps> the platypus! Begin the research! All right. Well, we've got research coming in on the platypuses that we are going to be adopting. Uh, can I upgrade their exhibit to get it ready? Exhibit items? No, they just have their little cleaning station. There is a current, there is a poop epidemic. Nobody panic. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and use a good syrup. And that's already gonna be super expensive. Hopefully that'll take care of the gastroenteritis epidemic. Pills are being given to your animals right now. Your veterinarians used it before and have assured you it will soothe them a great deal. Oh, I'm glad. All right. Oh, and actually, what are our current reserve animals? Imagine that, friends. 
I'm pretty sure they gave me a red kangaroo. The kangaroo enthusiast gave me a red kangaroo. Who saw that coming? Not me. Wow. <laughs> All right, no donated animals right now. We're gonna go ahead and adopt a platypus. The platypus, one of the only living monotreme species that is native to Australia. It is quite uncommon in the area and the guests will appreciate it. So what happens now is when we adopt them, they will hang out in our zoo and by taking good care of them, they will eventually reach level 15. When they reach level 15, we could either release them into the wild or we could release them to a reserve. <gasps> Stefan, the albino! What? We have an albino red kangaroo! That's a big deal! Holy days! That's such a big deal, our fame just went through the roof. Well, let's go ahead and get uh, Una and Lucky, the platypi. I need to rename them really quickly. View the animals. Hello, Una! We're gonna go ahead and rename Una to... Achaya! So Achaya, thank you so much for letting me know how much you love our cougars. You guys are really attached to our cougars for people who voted on having an Australian zoo, you know what I mean? And then Lucky, oh look at you! Oh, oh have a little scritchy scratchies, that's so adorable! Lucky, you are going to be renamed to Miriam! Oh, there we go! I'm so glad that you enjoy watching our adventures, Miriam. And that's really adorable that your dog enjoys watching with you. All right, look at that little platypus. That's so exciting. Hi, friend. I wish I could get like better, oh, well, maybe I can get a better picture over there. It's always the setting sun around here. The sun is just always set. It makes it very tricky. Whoa. We have a teleporting platypus. It does make it very tricky. Oh, look at him go, look at him go. Oh, they seem so happy. Unfortunately, these small exhibit animals won't breed, so we won't actually get any platypus babies out of these two. But the way that you can propagate them, uh, which basically means to have lots of them to spread through the world, is by doing this, by putting them into the small exhibit, waiting till they hit level 15, and then we will be quite content. Let's go ahead and add in a couple more platypus really quickly. Ooh, there's only one available right now. Ooh, so now we have to wait because we have adopted. <gasps> Yay, and the epidemic is over. We have adopted all of the platypus available. That is so funny. Maybe we need to wait a little bit before we end up having a gigantic, huge, let's see, rename, a gigantic, huge river full of platypus. Let's see. And, oh, toy box. Hey, a randomness actually, randomness toy box. Thank you. That was so sweet of you to say. And I'm very happy to add you in as randomness the platypus. Doesn't that just sound absolutely delightful? But there we go, phew, okay. Well, with all of that done, we have a concession shortage. What? The Takiya Tropical Temptations has run out of stock. Pick up new stock in a buggy from the zoo entrance and drive it to the tropical, uh, Takiya's Tropical Temptations before the stock goes off. Oh boy. All right, well, we got to do that. But really quickly, can I see the albino baby? View animals. Stefan! An albino baby giraffe! Okay, we're going to be spending more time with him next time, I think. Uh, and we can probably move the red kangaroo to their own exhibit to go parallel along Platypus River, which is already looking really good, if you ask me. All right, we've got work to do, friends. But before we go, let's go ahead. We're going to start doing some some research and going viral. Dun, 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 dun. But we're going to get that going, and we're going to drive a buggy. And that will be our very busy, busy day. Get in. All right, we've got, go! Like, move! Come on, scooch along. There, oh, I needed to press the go button. <laughs> but we have some very, very important, oh, I need more janitors. Some very, very important, uh, pardon me everyone, pineapples to take to the Tropical Temptations. <gasps> this place is a wreck, oh my gosh, everybody, Put your trash and recycling where it belongs. What do you think this is? You all need to recycle. 
Alright. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Alright. There we go. Well, we have now got albino baby kangaroo. We have baby giraffes. And we are working on the awesomeness of having our wonderful platypus river so i think that's gonna really work out oh randomness is lonely okay more platypus needed can i get another platypus let's check really quickly new challenge website photo photographs man there is so much to do in this zoo i always say in zoo crafting there's so much to do but there is like yes okay uh we'll get hattie all right got hattie the exhibit is now full animals view animals and we're gonna rename this one as it slides into the water to reagan so reagan thank you gosh you also watch with your dog wait 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 i don't know why i thought that oh i'm so glad that you're so inspired by our adventures i hope you and randomness get along well and will one day grow up to be very happy platypi ready to explore the rest of our world Phew. all right we're making things happen. Just in time for my janitor to go on strike. Yep, making things happen. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on our adventures as we begin to build Platypus River. And hopefully we will be able to add in many, many, many more platypus and have a constant supply that can go out to all of our other zoos throughout the rest of the world. If you could, do please leave a like to help me clean up all the trash that my, my janitors are currently going on strike for. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.